Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront back again with another video blog, and I figured I would take the time today to talk about my uh, my adventure in voice acting. Uh, I actually have a Tumblr post about this, so uh, I don't remember the the URL of my Tumblr uh, address. But if you follow me on Twitter, which is uh, at Gamefront Mitch, I have a tweet somewhere pretty recent where I uh, I link to it, and yeah. So go check that out. And if you're not following me on Twitter, please do so. Uh, it's really the best way to keep in touch with me. Uh, it's the best way. <laughs> that was funny. I, I kicked the the wire of my webcam. And it like shook up and down like it was saying yes. But yeah, Twitter is the best way to uh, to ask questions of me. Uh, I'll pretty much I usually answer uh, most of my Twitter questions. Sometimes uh, I'm, I I get busy and I don't always answer them but I would say 90% of the time if you ask me something on, on Twitter and it's not a terrible question I will answer it and yeah so follow me on Twitter I'm almost at a thousand followers it would be awesome if I can get there anyway uh, voice acting workshop uh, it was on Sunday uh, basically I took two workshops I took the level one and level two classes and it was run by Crispin Freeman who is a big shot in the anime dubbing world. He also does a lot of video games, he does a lot of uh, cartoons, he's part of Young Justice right now, and I think he does Speedy. I'm not, don't quote me on that though, but he does one of the main characters in Young, uh, Young Justice. And yeah, let's just talk about what happened. So the beginning of the workshop was basically a improv, uh, really, you know, easy improv stuff. Uh, where basically it's it's meant to get you to come out of your shell, be more comfortable with performing in front of an audience, and also because a lot of the the skills of improv uh, comedians it translates over to to voice acting, the ability to quickly uh, think on your feet and change the delivery of a line uh, at the drop of a drop of a drop of a drop of a dime, I guess you would say. Uh, is that the saying? <laughs> For example, like. Uh, one of the games that we played was elevator and basically it's just a scene in an elevator with your partner and when when the scene starts Crispin goes and the doors close and that's your cue to to start the scene you're imagining that you're in an elevator and the only rule that you have to follow really is you cannot deny what your partner says so if your partner is saying oh yeah we're going up to the uh, 15th floor um, I'm meeting a couple buddies we're gonna we're gonna have some fun doing some laser tag on the 15th floor. You can't say there's no laser tag on the 15th floor. That's where the the uh, the indoor rodeo is, <laughs> or something stupid like that. You can't do that because it's it's kind of shutting your partner down. It's not going with the flow of the scene, and that's something very very bad in improv. So if you if someone were to do that, they were to de deny their partner. Crispin would go change. And you have to change it to something else. Uh, usually, you'd have to be saying yes and. So if he says, "Oh yeah, um, go, we're going to 15th floor and we're going to, you know, do some laser tag," you can say, "Oh yeah, laser tag." I heard, uh, and I also heard that there's, you know, a bar on that floor. We can maybe go there after we do some laser tag. So that's that's kind of the the idea of of that uh, improv game, let's say. Uh, after that, we got to do the, the voice acting stuff, and basically I got to do two characters. I got to do a character from Helsing named Leaf. Uh, he is a vampire who uh, recently got his powers, and he's completely going power crazy. Uh, he's with his girlfriend, he's making out with her, and he's talking about how awesome it is to be a vampire and how they're gonna, you know, their lives are going to be amazing. And all that his girlfriend really wants to do is you know, give him a blowjob. And he, you know, he's like, awesome, but why don't you understand how awesome this power is? And eventually, you know, she goes down on him. He starts laughing maniacally and shooting everything in the vicinity. And that was my first voice acting experience. I got to laugh maniacally, uh, be evil, and basically act like I was getting a blow shop. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was very fun. And... The second scene was a little different. Uh, I had to jump into the shoes of Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. And if you know uh, Cowboy Bebop, if you know dubbed anime, Spike Spiegel is A, 
one of the most beloved anime characters of all time. And B, he is voiced by Steve Blum, who is probably the most well-known anime dub actor in the business, and Spike is probably his best role. So, no matter how I did, uh, if I did really well, it would ne I would never be proud of it because I would know that my voice is not what belongs on Spike Spiegel. <laughs> that is Steve Blum's character, and anything else is just incorrect. <clears throat> so even though I thought I did a, an okay job with it, I felt that uh, I wasn't that happy with it because I wasn't Steve Blum. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a good experience altogether. Um, one of the things that I kind of underestimated about uh, voice acting, uh, it's really hard. When I was doing the Helsing character, uh, you know, I'm I'm doing I'm doing my evil. Vo I'm, that wasn't my evil voice, but I'm doing a kind of a evil character, an evil voice. And it's really hard to get the usual range of emotions for that evil character because you know uh, when I when I try to be an evil character, uh, my voice automatically shifts to sounding a little bit angry. And the problem I was having with that character was during the scene where you know she's she's offering to go down on me, uh, I I was like I was you know I had I had a line and every time I read the line. Uh, Christmas was like, "Why do you say, sound angry at her? Why is she? Why are you mad at her? She's about to go down on you." And I'm like, "I'm not trying to be mad at her. I'm just trying to keep in character." So it took me a while to uh, to get to that voice where it was still in character, but it was also like, oh, "Awesome, man! You're you're about to go down. I'm about to get a blowjob." <laughs> so yeah, it was. It was an interesting experience, and it was it was kind of eye opening also. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I felt like I got really good feedback from not only Crispin, who you know obviously he he's a uh, it's in his best interest to to make the students feel good so that they come back to more classes. Uh, but I felt like I got good feedback from everyone else in the class also. So uh, it was good. And then after. After the workshop, we got to have one-on-one uh, -on -one Q and A time with uh, with Crispin, which was really cool. I got to ask a whole bunch of questions about um, what my next steps would be if I was to seriously pursue this as a potential career. Uh, some of it was uh, assuring. Some of it was a little off-putting because of how much money it would have to I would have to spend in order to continue this path. Uh, I already bought a, a new mic, so I got like a $100, uh, pretty decent uh, standing mic with a mic stand and everything like that. So I'm going to use that to practice. I'll probably put some stuff on this channel uh, once I get it. And just the other things, like you have to you know, join these pay-to-play sites where you, you pay a yearly subscription to host your, your demo reel, and then that obviously gets sent to people who are casting, and then they look through all the the demos and if they like your voice they send you an email you do an audition and it's just a very long and kind of intense process but we'll see uh, I'm I'm not giving up yet it's gonna be a long road but we'll see we'll see where it takes me and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys wanna see uh, my written thoughts of this whole thing which is probably more coherent and comprehensible than what I'm spouting right now uh, go check out my tumblr blog which if I could, oh, I don't, I'm scared to uh, to get out of this uh, YouTube screen because I don't want to stop the recording. But I think it's like Tumblr.com/slash/gamefrontmitch maybe or Gamefrontmitch.tumblr.com, whatever. Uh, maybe do a Google search, you'll find it. And please also don't forget to follow me on Twitter once again at GameFrontMitch, and you'll be able to keep in touch with me and keep up to date on all the goings on going on in my life and yeah I think that's pretty much it so thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye stop button right now